Hi, I'm Danny, otherwise known as The Glittered Rose, here on YouTube, but also over on Instagram if you want to follow me there. I'm so excited to share this page, this new page that I've created in my art journal. Um, there's lots of texture, there's tissue paper, um, texture paste. It's just very interesting. It feels great. I love the texture. <laughs> so the focal point, the focal image of this page is from my own collage sheet. Um, I'm going to make that available to anyone who would like to use it. Uh, so keep watching so you can find out how you can get your hands on it. They are my own images so there's no worry about um, copyrights. You're free to use it in your art how you like. The page is quite simple. There's simple techniques but I think together it comes together really nicely and I can't wait to share how I made it. So if this is of any interest, please be sure to stick around, hit the like button and let me know down below what you think. Alright, let's get into it. So here we've got two versions of the same collage sheet. One is printed on standard cardstock and the other is on satin um, heavy photo paper. The photo paper version has printed a lot more vibrant and it's a lot more true to how, how the images are. So I would suggest if you like the vibrant look to grab yourself some satin um, photo paper. I think that it's printed nicer on that. Although, if you wanted a more subdued look, then go for the cardstock. It, you know, it just depends on what, you, what you're looking for. But for my uh, journal today, I'm going to use the, um, the photo paper. I'm going to use the redhead. I just adore, um, adore that image. So I, I really do have a thing for Art Nouveau and she's very Art Nouveau-esque. So... <laughs> I had to do me, so that's what I'm going to go with. But the little girl is so adorable as well. Um, all right, I'm going to cut her out and I'll be back. Okay, so to begin with, I'm grabbing out some um, tissue paper by Tim Holtz, just some floral. I don't want anything too much to compete with uh, the focal image. She's so colourful that anything too much will be well, too much in the background. So just something nice and neutral to begin with. I've primed my page using some white gesso and now I'm using Distress Collage Medium just to stick down these um, this tissue paper. So I've popped a thin layer on the page and then I'm popping a thin layer over the tissue paper just to seal and protect it and make sure it's nice and stuck down trying to get out the air bubbles, but I'm not too worried about wrinkles because I think that's just going to add to the texture and I do love my texture. I'm going to finish gluing this down and then blast it with my heat gun and I'll be back. Okay, so now I'm going to glue down my main image. So again, I'm just popping on some collage medium on the back and then um, I'll pop some collage medium over the top just to protect it. I think I want it about there. I don't want it right in the middle. Okay, so I'm a bit nervous painting this in case some of the ink comes up. I've never, I haven't used this paper or my printer like this before. Oh, it's fantastic. It's it's not running and it's staying put. Well, that's a relief. Cool. All right, that's nice and stuck down. I'm going to give it another blast. Okay, so now I've grabbed out my modeling paste from Finnebear. It's an art basics one. I have mentioned it before but if you're new to my channel I love this modeling paste. I'm able to blast it with my heat gun to dry it off. 
I'm not the most patient person to wait for mediums to dry. So if I can get it done nice and quick, I'm going to do it. <laughs> so here I'm just spreading on some um, modeling paste. It doesn't have to be perfect shapes. It's just, I just want to have the idea of, of some texture and that will pick up any paints or inks that I use. So I'm just going to pop them in the top left and then this corner and I'll probably do maybe the bottom bottom left as well just a little bit over the that um, tissue paper I'm being sure to go over the image as well the focal image because that just brings everything together so everything will then look like it's um, cohesive rather than not not conjoined or look like there's you know blocks but they're not they don't gel together if that makes sense okay I'm going to do a little bit of clean up and dry this off and then I'll be back all right, that's nice and dry, and I have cut out um, a 49 and Market rub-on. I've got a few different ones of theirs. I think they're great. You get a lot for, for your money as well. So um, they're great little embellishments. So I just stick it on where I want it to go and, um, yeah, transfer it. These are great because they're also uh, translucent, so you can see what's behind them. I always hold my breath. They remind me of, of tattoos. You know, the rub-on tattoos that you had when you were a child and then you pull them off and half of them are still on the sticker and then you try to line them up and they, they never match. So I'm just going to pop another one on. Not sure where. Okay, just a little brown one there. I think that'll do the job nicely. Okay, so for the next step, I have grabbed out Evergreen Bow by, it's an oxide spray, and I'm just dabbing it around the texture. Just grab a paintbrush and add some water. I want some drips and some... Um, a little bit of grunginess, not too much though. It's just a bit of a process, just add the colour and then add some water to make it drip. Now I've grabbed out some Liquitex ink in sepia and I'm just going in with a bit of brown and I'm just doing the same, um, same method as before. Just adding a little bit of um, the ink and then letting it run. By adding some water. I find Liquitex ink is fantastic because um, it's easy to get darker areas so if you run over where the texture is the texture paste sort of picks up that ink in the crevices and makes it makes it really stand out so I really do love the Liquitex inks. I'm also going around the edges in some areas just to blend that color with the edge of the um, picture to make again to make it look more cohesive like it isn't just stuck on stuck in in like a scrapbook. The green's looking a little wishy-washy so I'm going straight in with um, some of the oxide sprays just to deepen it up and make it more obvious. I like this. I'm going to dry it off and I'll be back. I'm really quite liking this, but I think things need to sit back a little bit more and look a bit more cohesive still. So I'm grabbing out my Liquitex uh, gesso and popping a little bit on my finger and I'm just going to finger paint some um, around the place. 
just to make things sit back um, and um, flow a little bit better and be a little bit more gentle on the eye. I'm going to make sure that I go over the edges of, of my girl so that, again, it looks like it's all meant to be there. I am really enjoying working with this, this image. I think she's stunning. Okay, so I'm going to dry her off and then we'll get on to the next step. And this right here is how I know I'm having a good time. <laughs> Look at my hands. Oh dear. Oh well, that's what soap and water's for, but later. Okay, I'm going to try a brand new item for me and it's Infusion Just Walnut by Paper Artsy. So I believe that there are two different pigments in here. So there's one that's more of a crystal and one that's more of a powder. So when you spritz it with water, they'll separate and they'll look a bit different. <laughs> so we're going to give it a go. Um, I really like the colour straight up. It's a nice brown. Just try and get a little bit of, of runs and a bit of grunginess. Oh, I like that. I really do like that. So you can sort of see the darker, more more. Thick parts are the crystally bits and then um, the waters, the um, powder. Here's another section. It's sort of, it actually, you can feel a little bit of the graininess on the paper, but I think it looks, looks really cool. I think I'm going to enjoy these. I'll have to get some more colors in them. Okay, so I've popped on a saying from Tim Holtz. It says, listen to your heart, it will show you the way. And I'm just running around it with a um, Stabilo Oil. I don't think I'll wet that because I'll end up making everything else run with it. So I'll just leave it how it is. It's kind of charcoal-y anyway. Okay, so off camera, I've grabbed um, a metal heart by Tim Holtz and I've painted it with um, collage medium. This gives it a little bit of grit and then I've colored it in with an embossing pen. Just just a pen with embossing powder. It could be wow or um, distress, it doesn't matter. And poured some embossing glaze over it. And I'm going to heat emboss this. I've cut out the footage because you couldn't see anything, but this is what you you end up with. So the embossing glaze is translucent, and I think it gives an also an almost enamel look when you use this method. Um, I'm just trying to get my camera to pick up the details. I hope you can see. I think it's I think it's a gorgeous technique, and I, I think it really adds something to um, to metal findings. I think the color is perfect um, for this spread and I've just glued it down using some hot glue and I think it's a perfect embellishment. Oh, I love it. I've also run around the edges with a crayon just to bring your eye into the middle and just to frame it. So. I'm going to clean up my area and then we'll take a close look at the um, art journal page and I'll let you know how you can get your hands on the collage sheet. And here we are all finished. I have to say I'm very happy. I loved using um, my own image. I think she's gorgeous. And as promised, if you want to get your hands on the collage sheet, um, it's available in my Facebook group called The Glittered Roses. So if you join there, there'll be a pinned post with a link to the um, file and you're welcome to download it. If you do use the images, I would love to see what you make. So be sure to tag me in any artwork that you create with it. 
Let me know down below if you're going to get a copy for yourself. If you're not a member of the Glitter Roses, please join us. We're a really friendly group and we'd love to have you. All right. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and leave me a comment. Thanks, guys.